In this video, we show how to consider functional safety to ensure compliance with relevant safety standards. At this stage, we have determined the required steering functionality and decided the steering system layout. Conducting a risk and hazard analysis determines the machine's functional safety requirements. First, we consider the machine's operating conditions, working environments, driver behavior, and many other relevant factors. We also look at foreseeable hazards and accident scenarios and evaluate any associated risks. After that, it may be necessary to implement risk reduction. One example is applying safety functions. Each safety function will have a required performance level, or safety integrity level, determined by the risk and hazard analysis. The performance level defines the robustness of the safety function. Let's have a look at the following example for our wheel loader. We evaluate the risk of a particular steering function related to the joystick by applying the risk graph from ISO 13849. We evaluate the severity, occurrence, and avoidance. We are considering that the steering wheel is the primary steering input device on the machine. The driver is using open loop joystick steering. The machine operates outside public roads and travels at speeds up to 40 kilometers per hour. And safe state is defined as all electrohydraulic flow being stopped and steering can only occur by using the steering wheel. For this scenario, we consider a hazard where a sudden failure in the joystick steering system could unintentionally command the hydraulic proportional valve to full stroke. The result would be a sudden change of the driving direction, potentially leading to an accident. This hazard could be evaluated by applying the risk graph from ISO 13849. We begin at start. We decide the severity of injury is serious, the exposure is frequent, and the avoidance is possible under certain conditions, which leads us to a required performance level of D. This means that for any applicable safety function applied for risk reduction of this hazard, a performance level of D or higher would be adequate. All other machine functions related to steering are evaluated in the same way. Using the risk assessment ensures the selection of adequate methods of risk reduction, which may include applying safety functions. ISO 13849 also provides guidelines for selecting the right hardware architecture for a safety function to achieve an appropriate safety integrity level. Danfoss provides safe steering solutions for state-of-the-art steering functionality we can help you select the right components based on your individual needs and safety requirements. Our solutions include third-party approved safety functions, ready to make your machine safe.